Merry Christmas Eve YouTube. What's going on everybody? Joe here today. And I know what you're thinking. It's been a long time in standards of my channel how I'll drop like two videos a week. It's been a long time since you've seen a video. It hasn't been an eternity, but it has been a minute. Um, yeah, about that. I kind of got hurt while I've been away. Um, I slightly dislocated my shoulder. I might have just dislocated my shoulder. Um, yeah, I did. And, um, other family things and just life really kind of caught up to me for for the past couple of weeks not to mention i've been busy being an elf you know santa's got to deliver the goods <laughs> it's christmas eve and i figured what better time to do my list of top winter scents and i've decided from here on out i'm just gonna unify no more just niche, no more just designer. Here in Atlanta, Mother Nature pretty much has said, screw fall. We're going to jump straight into winter after summer. I think we had like maybe 12 or 13 days where it was like 70 degrees out. Maybe a little bit more than that. I may be exaggerating a little. But nevertheless, it's primarily been about 40 degrees here for a while which I'm not used to here in Atlanta. I'm used to it because I'm from New York, but yeah. So I've had a good enough feel to know pretty much what my fall, I mean, I'm sorry, whoa, what my winter scents were gonna be because I've pretty much been doing it since fall a lot. So I really didn't even have a chance to enjoy my fall scents. But this lineup is foolproof. It's been tested. And it's been approved. So let's start it off. Up first we're gonna have Tom Ford's Cafe Rose. I really like this scent. The only thing is just I only really wear this on nights out. So that's why it's so low on the list. I would wear it more if I went out a lot more. Like if I was going out every night this could have easily been number one. But or maybe you know top three. But because I've especially been busy in the last month, um, it's kind of slipped on the list. And because I just use this for nights out. So, Tom Ford's Cafe Rose. By the way, this is a top 12. 12 days of Christmas. So this is a top 12 list. Number 12, Cafe Rose. Number 11. Again, is a scent that I like, but because it is daring. It is my daring go-to. And at times I feel daring, you know, more than not. But not as much as just on a regular go-to day. From the House of Imaginary Authors, Cobra and the Canary. This is a great scent in my opinion. I really like this scent. But it is a scent that isn't for everybody. So just be careful with that. You're going to get your hay, tobacco leaf kind of vibe, a little bit of green, earthy. Starts off with a big blast of citrus. I mean, just try it. Um, what makes this scent daring is it has like an asphalt smoky vibe to it. Now, my collection has gotten bigger. If you'd have asked me this two months ago, I'd have sworn up and down that this was going to be my winter signature. And like always, my stuff just changes like that. So, how high has this dropped? It is right here, sitting at number 10. It literally dropped pretty much about 9 to 10 spaces in the last month and a half. Hate to do it. Tom Ford's Plum Japonese. I really wanted to make this my winter signature, but 
it just has not fallen that way. I like this scent, but I don't love it the way I originally did. I'll even go as far to say I really like it, but it just... I mean, of course, I really like Tuscan Leather now over this. And of course, Japan the Wall will never be dethroned. But I, I guess maybe just the concentration of the plum has really done it for me. And here you're going to get some plum, some incense, a um, little bit of like cinnamon note. I get it, a cin the cinnamon note on my skin. But um, I don't know what happened. Number nine is a scent that I, I mean, all of these I like. I have the bottle for a reason. And this one serves its purpose. Um, if Cobra and the Canary was a daring where I just didn't care, this one is one where I feel like I still want to be daring. But instead, actually try to maybe reach for a compliment or to kind of be, you know, the clean, presented person. Just really, really kind of show everything off. Um, yeah. Prada Amber Pour Om Intense. Doesn't really smell like Prada Amber Pour Om at all. You're going to get some incense, some vanilla, some patchouli. Slight bit of bergamot in here. It's good stuff. But, um, it has its places and times when I choose to wear it. So, yeah. Number eight. I like this juice. Um, reason why it's over here is, I don't know. It, it just doesn't hold a toe as much as I would like it, but it is still a great scent. This scent has gone me a few compliments, and this scent will have a review very, very soon. I'm just personally trying to feel this scent out to a hole, to a T, before I do it, just because I really do like this scent. If you haven't seen this scent or heard this scent, you gotta check this scent out. Edol from Luban, EDP version, not the EDT, EDP. Rum Boozy Woods, pretty much, um, good juice, I really like to wear this more so on my nights out, and just kind of pick and choose when, I mean, I have a lot of night out scents, and this one, really, if anything, is just the amount of booziness sometimes, can steer a person away every now and then. But overall, I love this juice. And I'm glad. I mean, the bottle is beautiful. Look at it. Eat off from Luban EDP. Review coming soon. This scent would have easily been number one. But I'm not giving it a cheap cop out. Um, I've worn this scent a lot. But it's mostly been at work. Because I feel this scent is best for work. It could also do nights out. And it could also do romantic. But, um, I really just prefer this for work. Aqua de Palma's Colonia Intensa Oud. I put this in the middle of the pack because, again, I wear this a lot for work. And since I work five days out of the week, you know, maybe work two or three times out of that week. There you go. <laughs> um, I wasn't about to put it in number one, though. Good, nice, fresh Oud. Citrus Oud. Different take on Oud. Try it if you haven't. ADP Oud. I also have a review of this too, so check that out. Number six is from another Indies like niche house. Um, I've been giving them a lot of praise too on top of the imaginary authors. They have a lot of great scents. I actually do like their house. Um, check their house out. It is Gateways from House of Matriarch Christie. You came up with a great scent here. Um, chocolate. Ooh, 
this is the Ak Chung series. So the Ak Chung is is like eight cents based off of, and each one incorporates a, some sort of oud into them. This one is a tobacco, earthy kind of oud. Good, good stuff. Woods, oud, chocolate, tobacco. That's pretty much, and also green notes too. You definitely get your share of green notes, not just like a quick whiff and it's gone. You get a little bit of everything here with the exception of citrus. So citrus lovers, I'm sorry, but this one, I do like this stuff. I might even get me like a bigger bottle soon, but um, you know, sooner or later, once I'm done with this juice, I could definitely see myself keeping this bottle in my collection. On top of just the artwork, artwork is awesome. I have a review of this too, check it out. Check out the whole house. I mean, awesome stuff. Tom Ford is not the only house that I did doubles of. I doubled up on this house too. Which house could it be? Josh, you're the man. Memoirs of a Trespasser. Vanilla Smoky Woods. Or woody smoky vanilla whichever one you want to call it that's what it is and this is going to be the scent that I wear tomorrow on Christmas Day I love this juice I do really 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 love this juice um I prefer Cobra and the Canary only because I like those daring sense but I could have easily I mean it was close it was like I'm not trying to move my arm too much but it, it was like right there like good juice uh yeah and I mean you could kind of tell I've actually been wearing a nice amount of it now we're at the fantastic four um this scent I slept on a lot, and if it wasn't for the Batman, Josh, I, he was a part of my collaboration video. He's a newer reviewer. I'll put the link down below. Um, obviously, as you can see, I've already given it away. <laughs> Sorry, I do like the smell. I just hate the fact that everybody in Atlanta knows about it. La Nui Cologne from Yves Saint Laurent. A spicy, powdery kind of vibe. Very sweet. Good juice. Again, my only problem against this scent, which is why I was against it even higher, on top of the fact that I had a bad sample, was the fact that so many people in Atlanta wear YSL. Loam and La Nuit. It's ridiculous, but uh, still good juice. I'm a collector. Had to have it in the collection regardless. And I've worn it number four. Line of wheat alone for me, Saint Laurent. Talk about a scent that everybody wears. Wow, I mean, this scent's been worn since the 90s. I mean, everybody wears it. The jerks, the nerds, the nice guys. I mean, everybody wears it because all the women like it. Of course, Lamar. But I really like this, and surprisingly, my circle of people that I always seem to cross day by day hasn't really smelled this the way others have, which is good for me. Um, vanilla, mint, lavender, like bomb. Really just vanilla, mint, bomb. Um, you know it, you love it, you have it, or you had it. That's pretty much how I'm going to su summarize this. Um, yeah, Lamar. Not, I'm just fortunate that not everybody that I know has smelled it, and that this thing does get me a lot of compliments. Oh, yeah. Number two. Number two on the list is a scent that has really never disappointed me. It was love at first sniff. 
I really like dish juice. I love it. It is sharing the pedestal with Japan Noir for a reason by Killian's Back to Black. Uber, Honey Bomb, Raspberry, Tobacco. You've heard me talk about it a million times. Blah, 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 blah. But you know what? It does not stop the ladies from loving this juice. At least for me. Can't say the same for you. And when you mention the fact that it's a relative of Hennessy, I mean, they just become even more impressed and they love it even more. My recent experiences showed that. Back to Black from By Killian. Numero uno. On this year, 2013, my number one for the winter will be Code U. Yes, I have worn this a lot. This does not make it my signature scent. I just came to terms with I can't even have a signature scent anymore just because I change my fragrances every day. Just because I change my moods like that. I mean, you just saw how far Plum Japanese fell. And I actually like that scent. But Code U? That has Tonka. Citrus. I mean, it's pretty much a tonka revved up version of the original Armani Code. And it lasts longer. And it projects better. Code you still to this day, this moment, slept on by a lot of people. It is a little bit powdery, so if you don't like powder, you might want to stay away. But this stuff is good. This is the counterpart to DHI. It's almost like if DHI is the obnoxious jerk who gets all the ladies. And then Code U is just that laid back guy who gets all the ladies. They both do the same thing. But they just go about it two different ways. And people have said that there is like a Code U is DHI with Armani Code combined and now you have this. So you can take it how you want. Me personally, they're two different scents. Totally different scents. Again, this one is more of like when I want to just be all show off, obnoxious, outgoing, I'll go DHI. But a lot of times they're not. I'm laid back, chilled, reserved, and I'll go with Code U. Good stuff, number one for 2013. There are my 12 cents. I did 12 for y'all for 12 days of Christmas. Um, yeah. Let me know what your cents are for the winter. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about my list. Let me know what you have worn a lot of. Let me know anything. I mean, you know how I am. I don't have to keep reciting this. Um, sense of the day for me on Christmas Eve was tobacco vanilla. Um, from Tom Ford. Let me know what your sense of the day is. Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. Whatever holiday you guys celebrate girls, anybody watching, Martians, anybody, happy holidays from me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subbing. Thank you for anything. Check out the Facebook group down below that I'm going to post a link to that has some awesome people. I mean, really just thank you to them. Thank you to everybody. For supporting me. Happy holidays. And I'll see you all later.